the past hour, India has launched its first observation mission to study the sun. Large crowds gathered to watch the rocket carrying the Aditya L1 satellite blast off from the Sri Harikota Space Center in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. Now, the probe aims to work out what drives space weather and gather a better understanding of the dynamics of solar wind. Its 1.5 million kilometers orbit around the Earth will give it a clear view of our nearest star. And those pictures of Aditya launching from its space station a bit earlier on. We can go live now to Mumbai to our reporter jean V. Moulet. jean V. and um, clearly another big moment for India. It is, and in fact, it is much more ambitious than uh, Chandrayaan-3 uh, mission because uh, this is this time the spacecraft is expected to travel four times the distance between Earth and Moon. That is around 1.5 million kilometers, uh, which may seem a little minuscule compared to the distance between Earth and Sun, but it is a place from where the spacecraft should be able to uh, study sun, the outer atmosphere of uh, our closest star. In a few minutes, we are expecting a confirmation on uh, how the launch went. Uh, remember, this is not a very powerful rocket in the world, but it's one of the most trusted rockets that uh, ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization, has. Uh, and uh, it is expected to carry uh, the spacecraft into a certain orbit around Earth from where it will keep orbiting uh, our planet and gain velocity and ultimately it will be launched towards the point L1 which is a point between Earth and Sun where gravitational pull from both of these is uh, quite neutral meaning that spacecraft will be able to hover in that region. It's something similar to the James Webb telescope that NASA has on the other side of the Earth. And uh, on this side, at point L1, Aditya L1, ISRO's spacecraft is expected to uh, uh, study sun. It's, a, it's the first solar observatory of this kind that India is sending out. So it's definitely yes. a massive movement for uh, all the space enthusiasts in the country. Yes, and as you sort of alluded there, it's going to take a while to get there, um, something like 125 days. In terms of how people are feeling about this launch, clearly there was a lot of fanfare around Chandrayaan 3 and that went very well and it was a real moment for the country. How are people feeling about this mission? Well, uh, for the first time in many days, I'm seeing people coming out on street for some scientific achievement. Otherwise, this is something that is reserved for, uh, let's say, a big sports victory or a political victory. And those were the scenes that we actually saw after Chandrayaan uh, 3's lander touched down on moon. And since then, there is uh, definitely an increase in interest in everything that is related to space. And that is something uh, which people are watching because this is a young country with a technology uh, that has put India in space. So obviously, for, in terms of future exploration, there's a lot of interest, especially among youngsters. But uh, beyond that, uh, there is also there are also scientific experiments that are being carried out, carrying, uh, that will be carried out. Uh, remember, India has about 50 odd satellites hovering around Earth, and they, those are important for the country uh, for about the country of uh, 130 billion people. So in terms of uh, protecting those satellites, study of solar winds and uh, solar plasma is also equally important. Yes. And Aditya L1 uh, is going to help in that mission. That is what uh, scientists are hoping for. OK, well, Jamie, thank you very much for joining us. Jamie Moulet uh, from Mumbai, our BBC reporter there. And earlier on, we just were seeing pictures of the engineers celebrating the success of the two rockets um, separating. And here we are. Um, these are. The engineers and all the staff behind the mission, clearly a lot of effort goes into this um, and it's months and months of planning and execution and um, yes, lots of joyous <laughs> expressions. And